I just finished a giant battle using different AI models to write blog posts. I battled the 405 billion parameter Llama 3.1 model made by Meta against Anthropic's Claude Sinet 3.5 model and then OpenAI's GPT-40 Mini and GPT-40 models. Now the results really surprised me both from a cost perspective and quality perspective. Let me show you the results. You can see the results for yourself if you go to this website, AIblogpostwriter.com. I made this site to demonstrate different articles using different settings written by Zimwriters. Everything I'm going to show you is completely unedited. I didn't edit any of this stuff. You can check out the battle by clicking on this first link, AI Model Battle, and it will take you to this page. Now, there's some settings I used for each of these battles, and my main goal was to ensure fairness. So for each of the battles, I used an identical outline, like an outline for a particular article that I was writing, and also identical settings. So I wanted to keep it really fair and just vary the actual writing model. And I also have the costs on average for each of these. This is just the textual portion of the costs. So the image costs and the SERP scraping costs are separate, but these are the actual writing costs. So for the GPT-40 battle results, they averaged one penny an article. Llama 3, 405 billion averaged four pennies. Claude Sinet 3.5 averaged six and GPT-40 averaged seven. Now, one thing to keep in mind is just because something's more expensive doesn't necessarily make it better. As time goes on and the models get more and more powerful and new models come out, the older models will still remain expensive, but the newer models will be cheaper and better. That's just how it works in the world of AI. So let's check out one of these battles. So you'll come down here, you click on one of these. Again, these are battles with all four models. So we'll click on tricks to get into college with bad grades and we'll open up the battle and you'll see four identical articles. Now the AI image is a little bit different for each one. But other than that, they're completely identical articles, except for the content of each subheading. For example, if I click this GPT-40 mini article that cost me a penny, and I click this Llama 3.1405, they have identical sections. So the first H2 is improve your college admissions chances. Improve your college admission chances. Focus on academic growth trends focus on academic growth trends. So to ensure fairness, I kept the test identical, but I let the AI write its own section for each subheading. So this article over here is written by GPT-40 Mini, all right? And the text portion of this article cost one penny on, on average. I was really surprised by the results. If you pause the video and you can read the introduction and then you can read the different sections, I was really impressed with this. To improve your college admission chances despite bad grades, focus on boosting your standardized test scores, it's securing strong letters of recommendation. It, it just reads very well. And I like Claude Sonnet over here. I like that, but I don't know. I'm weighing in my mind, is it worth paying the extra money to use Claude Sonnet? Now I have found that Claude Sonnet will follow more instructions better. Like the Claude Sonnet article is also really well written. It will follow more instructions better, but if you're not using a style mimic or you're not using a custom prompt with a lot of different rules and stuff like that. I don't know if Claude Sinet is really worth the money. Now, what I have noticed is this Llama 405 billion parameter model is incredible. It writes like a human. I'm just blown away by it. And this is not even the most expensive model. It's cheaper than Claude Sinet. It's cheaper than GPT-40. All right. It's not as cheap as GPT-40 mini, but at four pennies for this article, that's a great deal. Check this intro out. I was just blown away by it. You can still get into college with bad grades by leveraging other strengths. Focus on achieving high standardized test scores like a 1240 SAT or 25 ACT to show you're capable of college work, build relationships with teachers and counselors to get compelling letters of recommendation that contextualize your grades, craft a personal essay that showcases your character, resilience, and unique experiences, highlighting academic growth trends like a GPA improvement from 2.0 to 3.5 can also boost your chances. As you explore these strategies further, you'll discover how to turn weaknesses into strengths and create a winning college application. That's phenomenal. Now, these intros that I wrote are using the search intent intro option because a lot of people will just skim over the article and we're bolding those, not SEO keywords, but bolding the readability words, the words that will help them skim better, okay? It turned this search intent intro into something that just sounds amazing. I am absolutely blown away by the Llama 405 billion parameter model. The rest of it reads, it reads like a human. Colleges tend to view an upward trend in grades more favorably than a static record. This is great. I was just blown away by this. We can look at a couple more of the battles. And again, you can come to this page and check all this stuff out for yourself. Let's see, secrets to get a second date. The results from each of these models, they're all very impressive models. I, I would have no, no problem having any of them on my website. 
You increase your chances of landing a second date when you create a genuine connection with your partner. To do this, be your authentic self, embracing your true nature and avoiding pretenses. It's great. So that's it. Again, you can go to this page. You can go to my AI blog postwriter.com. You can click on AI battle and then view the different battles, view the different settings. You can replicate this if you want to. There's a link to get ZimWriter right up here if you want to check out ZimWriter and get it. It's honestly the best writer in the world that runs on a Windows computer. There's a Facebook group with over 13,000, 13,000 members in it. Very high profile SEO people in there. There's some people in that group making uh, six figures a month from their different AI sites. Definitely check it out. Any questions, drop a comment down below. If you like the video, drop a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hey, until next time, good luck with your content generation, and I'll talk to you later.